Hi everyone, it's Miss Molnar here again. So, I heard that Mrs. Evans, in the last lesson, asked you to go away and make your own pence shop at home. What did you buy with your pennies? How much did some of the items cost? I bet you were buying some really interesting things. Well, we're going to recap our learning from last time by looking at the screen in front of you. I want to know how many one, one penny coins there are. So we can use the sentence stem. There are hmm, one penny coins. The total value is hmm, p. Have a go and count how many one pennies you can see. Well done, there are four one pennies. So let's say the sentence stem together. There are four one penny coins. The total value is four P. And we can tell that from our pre-money tokens, our tokens here show us there's one dot. So that means our one penny coins are worth one. So if we've got four of them, our total value is four. So, I brought a friend back today that we know, Harold the Hedgehog. Say hi, Harold. So, Harold's coming today to help us learn about some new coins. Harold was just telling me that last time with Mrs. Evans, you were asked to go away and find some other coins in your home. We want to know, what did you find? What did you notice about their colors or their shape or their size? You can tell us about it now. Well, we're sure that you found lots of interesting coins and maybe we're going to talk about some of them today. All right, so if you don't have your coin collection in front of you, pause this video now and go grab them because you're going to need them. All right, so Harold's going to go get my collection for me. And we're going to start off with this coin here that's already up on the screen. And I think that we already know it. So each of our coins has two faces. So this coin here, this would be the tail's face. And this would be the head's face of it. Now, I know we already know this is a one pence coin because we've been doing some practicing with it. But I'm going to flip it over on the screen. That would be the tail side or the face. And I want you to see, take a look at your one pence coin. Is this the same image that you've got? Or do you have a different image on your tail's face? Sometimes they actually have different images on the tail's face. And sometimes that's to commemorate a special event or something in history, but it doesn't change the value of the pence coin. There's still a one pence coin even though they've got different images on them. All right, let's go into our new coin that we're going to introduce today. Harold's grabbed it for me, and I'm wondering if you can grab it as well. So this would be the head side, and this would be the tail side on my coin. I'm wondering if you can find the same now in your collection. Have a go and see if you can find that coin. And while you're looking for it, I'm going to hold up both this coin and the 1P coin next to each other. Because I want us to think about what is the same about them and what's different. Tell your adult now what you notice about them. So... Harold said he noticed that this coin is much larger than the 1P coin. That's right, it is bigger. You're so right. It's still the same color, though. So some of the things that are the same is that it's got the same copper color. But what else is different is if we look at our token here, it's got two dots on our token. So that means that this coin has a value of two, and it's called a two pence coin. So let's say the sentence stem together at the top. This is a two pence coin. It has a value of two P. Well done, everyone. All right, so we've looked at the one P coin and the two P coin, okay? And so when we said that this has a value, even though it's one coin, 
it means it's worth two pennies or two pence, okay, even though it's one coin. We're going to take a look at another coin that you might have in your collection. So Harold's gone to grab for me this little tiny coin. I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'm going to hold it up for you. So that would be the tail side. And that would be the head side. I wonder if you can find this coin in your collection and tell your adult what you think it might be. And while you're doing it, I'm going to hold it up next to my 2P coin. And I'm going to hold it up next to my 1P coin. What's the same and what's different? Well, we know it's the same because it's got two faces. And we know it's a coin, but there's a lot of difference in this one, isn't there? We know we can see that it's silver, yeah, and we can see that it's much smaller. Oh, Harold's just been telling me though. Harold thinks that because this coin is very, very small, he thinks it must be worth less than 2p because it's so tiny. What do you think? Do you agree with Harold? Can you tell your idol what you think? Well, if you said Harold was wrong, you are right. That's okay, Harold. Even though this coin is very tiny, it is worth 5p or 5 pence. We can see on the token that there's five dots, so it's got a value of five. So it doesn't matter that it's a smaller size, the value is worth more. Okay, so let's say the sentence done together. This is a five pence coin. It has a value of five P. Did you have the same image on your tail side as I did? I've got um, another image of a lion on this one. I wonder if you've got the same or a different picture. Because again, remember there's some different images. Oh, I found one actually that's got a different image. This one here. So I wonder if yours had some of the same. All right, so that's both sides of the 5p coin, but Harold has told me that he's got another coin for us to look at, so he's gonna go grab it for us. Ooh, this coin here. Hmm, all right, I'm gonna hold it up for you. So this would be the head side that you can see, see on the screen. And this would be what's on my tail side of this coin. See if you can find this coin in your collection now. And I'm going to hold it up next to my five pence so you can see that it is a little bit different. Hmm. What's the same? What's different this time about it? And how much do you think it might be worth? All right, did you find it? So, I agree as well. It is a much bigger coin, isn't it? But it's also silver and it's also round. Hmm, I wonder how much it might be worth. If you said 10, that it's worth 10, you're right. This is a 10 pence coin. It has a value of 10p. Let's say the sentence stem together. This is a 10 pence coin. It has a value of 10p. Well done. Now, it is much bigger than the 5p coin, so it can help us remember it's worth more. But remember, that's not always true. So that's the other side. Did you have the same image on the other face or did you have a different one? All right, so now we've got up on the screen all of the four coins that we've been talking about today are 1p, 2p, 5p, and 10p. And you can see the heads and the tail side, as well as the token that shows how much the coin is worth. All right, now that we've gone over our four coins, Harold thinks that we should play a game. Do you want to play a game with us? All right, so Harold is going to put our coins that we've been talking about in a bag. 
Okay, so I'm going to get them ready with him in a bag here. Okay, so we can't see them inside the bag. All right, so I'm going to pick one up from the bag and I'm going to look at it and I'm going to describe it to you and I want you to see if you can guess what the coin is. Are you ready? Okay, I have a coin. It's about the same size as a penny. But it's silver. Hmm. I've given you two clues. It's about the size of a penny, but it's a silver coin. Can you tell your adult or us what you think it is? If you said a 5p coin, you are right. Because it's about the same size as a penny, but it's silver. Well done. All right, shall we have another go? All right, let me see. Hmm, what can I grab here from my feely bag? Ooh, okay, I've got one. All right, here's my clues. Don't look, Harold. All right. I've got a coin. It's the largest coin that we've spoke about. But its value is less than five. Hmm. Can you tell your adult what coin you think it might be? It's a large coin, but its value is less than five. All right, what do you think, Harold? If you said the 2p coin, you're right. It's the largest coin that we've spoken about today in terms of its size, but its value is only worth 2p. Well done. All right, so you can pause this video now and you can have a go at this game at home if you want with an adult or a sibling or a friend. So you can pick a coin out of the bag, keep it hidden, and can you describe it to your friend and see if they can guess? Well, we hope you enjoyed that game and I bet you can even play it later on if you're feeling a little bit bored. So now what we're going to do is I want you to grab these four coins in front of you. So you need a two pence coin, a one pence, five pence, and a 10 pence coin. So you need those four coins in front of you now. All right, once you have them in front of you, I would like you to put the coins in order of size from the largest coin to the smallest coin. So remember, that means how big the coin is in terms of its size. So I'd like you to put them in order right now from the largest coin to the smallest coin. Have a go at that. All right, let's look at what the order should look like. So our two pence coin is the largest size. Then we've got our 10 pence. Then we have our one pence and our five pence coin. Well done. So we can see it goes from largest to smallest. And below it, this is the value of their token. Okay? So just because I've put them in order of size, you can see it doesn't mean that it's worth more. Our 2p coin is the largest coin, but it's only got a value of two. Whereas our five pence coin is the smallest coin, but it's got a bigger value than 2p. All right, are we ready for our next challenge? I want you to take the same four coins, but now I want you to put them in order of value from the greatest value to the least value. So that's how much the coin is worth. What would be, what would have the biggest value and what has the least value? Put them in order now. All right, let's see what we've got. So we've got our 10 pence coin, then our five pence, then our two pence, and then our one pence. Is that the same order you had? And then we've got our pre money tokens underneath. There we go. So we can see the order from the greatest amount to the smallest amount. Well, we've really enjoyed learning about some new coins with you today. 
and we've got another practice activity for you to do at home, as well as the game that we've already played where you can guess the coin. We want you to take all of your collection of one, two, five, and 10p coins and see if you can sort them into piles. So we want to know how many 1p coins you have, how many 2p coins, and so on. So you need to sort all of the same coins into the same pile. So it should sort of look something like this. Okay, so I've got all my 10p's together, my 2p's, my 5p's, and my 1p's. Okay, so we want you to go away and see how many you have of each. Thanks for listening today, everyone.